adult storyline. It's got a child in it, but the themes and the morals in it are really adult driven. And the animation is a combination of 2D and, and computer animation. And it's done so beautifully and it's told so wonderfully that everybody who's going to that film is talking about it. Now, of course, uh, you're talking about um, a feature film like that. When you talk about something like King of the Hill, um, you have, or Simpsons even, you have these figures that are basically the dialogue is the key part of it. So what can you do with these animated characters that you couldn't really do? I mean, you talked about having no barriers, but th what can you do with, th with them? Well, the hardest part of King of the Hill, which I have King of the Hill tie on, <laughs> is uh, King of the Hill is so subtle. The animation in that is very, very subtle. So the jokes are not the big, wide... Um, squash and stretch jokes that came from the 60s and 70s. They're not so cartoony, it's more subtle. It's a wink, it's a blink, it's a nod, it's a shrug of the shoulders. So the artists really have to pay attention to who that character is and what the timing of the joke is. And you drive that timing and the joke by a shrug, by a simple, very simple performance. So it's much more like a stage play than it is really the old cartoon style. And of course, as we could see the cartoon again, it's something I noticed, the, the cartoon style is very simple. The animation style is very simple. What danger is there with the more sophisticated stuff that you could actually end up with um, figures on screen that are so realistic you don't ever need real actors? Well, I don't think it'll ever get to that place. I mean, there's a form of, perf uh, of animation called performance animation or motion capture animation that can give you very, re very realistic human characters. And, I, you know, I don't think we're ever going to get to that place. Um, at least I would hope not because I... I don't want to trick the audience, I want to engage the audience. And I think the most important thing, and it's kind of a trust that you have as an animator, you want to bring them into this world. It's not a real world. I mean, The Simpsons is not real. It gets away with a lot. It has a much wider creative license because it's not real. It's kind of a hyper-reality. So I, I don't ever want to get to that place where you're tricking the audience. I, th I, th I don't think the audience will buy that. We look at how animators are handling more mature themes when we return. Get your questions ready. This is Muscle Beach, where not all that long ago, an unknown Austrian giant, Arnold Schwarzenegger, was discovered. Hey, perhaps if I hang around long enough, 